Here we go. Yeah, there we go, boys. There we go. Ooh. But you were yeah. pretty slow on that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I was. Oh, one second off. I'm not going to be a pro player anymore. It's going to cost you the game. <laughs> Rip. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. New construction option. Building. But um, go on with what you were saying. Building. You're building concrete walls. Yes. <laughs> For what? There's no the, engineer rushes. The I told Trump you. wall. Building. No, there's no engineer rushes. What if you engineer rush me? Complete. You're my ally. How do I? How do I know that? Uh, Construction. But complete. go on with what you were saying. Oh, well, that's about it. Building. And there's other talk about like if you take 50% of someone's brain and re like re replace it with cells that are exactly the same as that the same person and blah blah blah. blah. Construction complete. So would you say that you like uh, I guess like sci-fi universes that have a blend of a philosophical question or like something that like presents a philosophical question then? Yeah, yeah, like something you can chew on. Um, uh, what is it? Star Trek's interesting because they disassemble the person and then beam the matter. I think they beam the matter and then reassemble it at the end point. But uh, that poses a question. Um, crap, I'm not doing anything in the game. It's all fine. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, not the dog. Shoot it with a gun. There we go. There we go. That's actually uh, why... That Nope, go on. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, a dog, a dog, dogs, there's every, there's dogs everywhere. <laughs> I don't think this is the Rush AI, but I could be wrong. Uh, there were so many dogs. That's what I was thinking of when you were saying uh, teleportation yeah, yeah. and whatnot. Star not. Trek's, the one I was citing was from an complete. old book I read in, um, I think it was, it must have been middle school. Yeah, I'd read books like that during uh, lunch hour. That's fine, I read. It's a really interesting book. I think I read Lord of the Flies. No, I actually read. <laughs> Lord of the I just, I just brought up like one thing. Uh, I don't, I don't, I um. Building. Books in my middle school were not really heavy sci-fi. Mostly just um. Training. Construction complete. Like you know, traditional non-fiction, so to speak. Mm. The only sci-fi I remember um, being really into was this one series where humanity died and so what they did was they spliced the genes of the humans so that they can uh, survive on the on the newly terraformed planet and I, I this is this is so long ago this was like I think like one of the first books that I've ever read that I actually wanted to read because beforehand beforehand I would just go like mom I don't want to do anything I just want to climb on a tree and break my ankle or something like that you know Mm. But, uh, what was it? I got really into this book because I was really involved with, like, the story and, uh, how humans... This was the first time I realized that, oh, hey, we could colonize different worlds and spice up our genes to, be, like, look like animals and stuff. That's cool. But, um, then I realized from reviews later on that the book was bad and then I had to do a paper on it and that kind of soured my, my love for it. Yeah, I find it weird because sometimes you'll enjoy something, but then someone tells you it's bad, so then you stop liking it. It's sometimes the person's opinion does bring up some interesting points that are like really good. Like for example, that book in particular was like a young adult um, book, and while young adult books aren't necessarily bad on their own accord, they usually have a certain type of writing style that really hinders their growth. I don't know. I've been thinking about it lately, like. Um, like how people are really super critical of people playing, like, I don't know, for instance, uh, Farmville. Because, you know, it's not a true game. You're not, like, truly testing yourself and blah, blah. But if they enjoy it, like, that's all that really matters. So yeah. I know I've been thinking about stuff like that. No, that's 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 a, that's a good point. Because I think if you enjoy a thing and someone says your thing is shit, there's, it's, not really, it's not really a good thing to say, first of all. Because... One, they could just say that your thing is shit, and then it just becomes into a never-ending circle jerk of... The internet. Yeah, exactly, the internet. The echo chamber of an echo Unit chamber, ready. so to speak. But... Unit ready. No, I think I think people should like this stuff regardless of whether or not... Um, other people think it's good or not. Like, a lot of people don't like the new Powerpuff Girls, but... There are a lot of defenders, actually, which is kind of weird. But if they like that, then... All, all power to them, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do a light tank raid, which is an absolute terrible idea on this map because it's so choke pointy. I I so we're gonna, I'm so slow at everything because I I spend so much time thinking about what book you I. You built read. a silo. I did. Oh no. Oh man. Oh no, oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh a dog. 
my dog. But just to go off of what you said, I think my favorite sci-fi concept would be um, psionics and interdimensional travel. I'm gonna use a spy. Oh wait, he has a lot of attack dogs. Maybe I shouldn't go that way. I'll go the other way. Go the, there's a lot of bazooka men coming at you too. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm building heavy tanks. Uh, I'm gonna build V2 rockets actually. Here's, here's those, those, he those rocket infantry so you decide to build heavy tanks. <laughs> I have V2 rockets, apologies. V V2 rockets, much, much, much better. Much better plan. But yeah, I like uh, psionics, interdimensional travel. Um, maybe... Like telepathy, psionics? Yeah, yeah, telepathy, mind control. Yeah, but we gotta take control of the middle on this map. So oh, take control of the middle? Something. Take control of your brain. What? Oh. Yeah, to finish my thought earlier. So, if you... There's like two things... I'll just say them. Um, so you, you disassemble someone, reassemble them at the end point with the same atoms, right? Mm -hmm. But um, what if you take someone, take every atom out, like, disassemble them completely, then use different atoms and reassemble them, but from a uh, scientist's point of view, you know, an atom is an atom, it doesn't matter which one it is. So I would argue that someone with different atoms would be a different person, but then if you reassemble the same atoms, then would that really also be the same person? Because it gets really confusing. I guess it depends on whether or not you think that what makes a man is his biological makeup, or rather, like, I guess, like, some pseudo concept like the soul or something like that. Yeah, it kind of stretches close to the soul, though I also don't believe in a soul. So yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, so From you an kind of outsider's perspective, none of this matters at all. It, but... it doesn't, but, like, in a, in a concept, like, for in a thought experiment like this, you can't really go off of concepts like the soul and stuff like that, because then. It kind of derails things, right? Because then we have to we have to clarify Unit things lost. and all that other shit. Holy fuck, a Rube Batman! Oh, did you get a good V two? Uh, he got a better V two. Oh, I have a spy. What should I spy? You do have a spy. Power. Hey, can you tell me where his V two rock is? Um, go where is it V two? It's like right oh. over the where, like around that uh, advanced power plant or something like that. Let's take a look. No, don't run him over. Don't run him over. How do I ground attack? I don't know. Alright, well, what oh, got the matter. power plant. Plus. I don't see a V2. Oh no, attack dogs! I must have just sucked. The attack dogs! Oh, I'm backing off. Let's buy. But yeah, I guess, I guess it really does depend on the person in general, like what makes up a person. Like if you, yeah, Rory if, and I came to a stalemate on that, so like, you, I don't have an answer. Yeah, it so. is. It's hard. It's hard because, you know, I think you can say that hey, we're just meat bags, right? So in general, whether or not like um, someone's killed or not, if they're completely made back together as like um, exactly the same as they once were. Hey, hey, hey Ruffle, your silo is almost full. Oh, not anymore, you know how buddy. You're banking. <laughs> don't worry, I'm building a. I'm building a lot of stuff. Oh good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, as you could as you could probably tell, I I am not MLG Pro. Not MLG. Not MLG. I can't I can't. Okay, soon you'll have no money because you have run out of ore in your main pack. That's all fine. I've decided that my tactic of staying in my base is not a good tactic, and so I will move out. Oh. But I'm also low on power, so I will shut this down. You also just build a second MCP. I could. I, I don't usually do it, honestly, in any game. Like, any of the red alerts, I'm like, second MTV, this what? This one has, a, well, there's two reasons. One, they added a base build range. So even though I have structures in the middle, I can't use the MCV in the left to build there because mm -hmm. they have a build range. You'll see it if you click on the MCV. And the normal Command and Conquerors, you can build anywhere as long as you have a structure. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, having an MCV at the front lines lets you build defenses, that is true, which are really true. strong in the red alert. I do, I do keep forgetting about defenses in a lot of games because I'm going off of the uh, StarCraft 2 route of defenses are really just deterrence; they're not necessarily like mm -hmm. uh, the end all be all. But um, like, no, go on. 
No, I was gonna jump back right back into the uh, the whole topic of what makes a man, or um, it, can you really say that oh the biological makeup of someone is necessarily the whole like the whole like um. Oh, that gets into even a different topic as well, because uh, we talked about in cognitive science about an idea that, like, a proof to say that there's something that's not biological, which it was weird. It was saying, basically, if you took, I think it was, if you took two things that were exactly the same biologically, but they had a different, like, output, then they couldn't possibly, there has to be something beyond the, which seems kind of obvious, but it's always nice to have a, uh, like there's something beyond the bio. I'm scattering my thoughts now. That's that's fine. I've also been scattering my thoughts in uh, hopes of trying to focus a little bit because I've made some really dumbass decisions. But um, so far, it hasn't come to bite me in the ass, and neither has hmm. it done the same for you. So we're good. Construction complete. Chrono tank. Then, am I Germany? I must be Germany. Hey, hey, or oh, oh, care package. Or are you talking about something? Have else? a power plant. Oh, a power plant. What's a mad tank? Uh, useless. Okay. It destroys. <laughs> let's see. It's a suicide unit that destroys structures in an area. Okay. I think there's one use for it in that you can chronosphere it they're, in. They're landing some guys on us. Oh. It's a good thing we had a defense. Oh, God. That's fine. Oh, look, I found out why they're getting a little bit feisty. APCs. Ooh, APCs. You see, in many ways, why am I building a war refinery? Why am I, what, what, what am I doing that for? What did I lose? Was it my, was it my new? Oh, I lost my tech set. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah, they bombed it. That's unfortunate. Rip your tech center. Rip tech center. GPS. GPS, more really mic. GP, a bitch. Oh. oh. It's okay. I'll take their tech center. Ooh. Oh wait, does the uh, advanced power plant blow up? No, there's no uh, collateral damage like oh. that in this. God bless Red Alert Three. Influence you so much. <laughs> Did you ever do the other campaigns? I no, I got bogged those. down because May was a busy month for the channel in terms of releases. And so whenever one new game came up, another took its place and it was a never ending tide. And so I have to at some point, I'm probably going to do it soon, but I have to at some point finish up my Ooh. three. Maybe I can try getting my, oh wait, I'll be at home. Never mind. That's all fine though. Get I really enjoy Red Alert 3. I just, I just like that it's, even though um, a lot of the gameplay might be a little bit lackluster in comparison to some of the other red alerts, I do find it enjoyable story-wise. Because it's ridiculous. It's, if something understands it's ridiculous, I feel like it, if it's done white, right, it's, um, it's, it's a lot more appreciated. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess that depends on me, but... We were talking about something about, um... Some, something deep. Yeah, you we were talking about something like, um, beyond the... Yeah, beyond the beyond the physical and stuff like that. I think, I think in terms of, like, you know, ever knowing about stuff beyond the physical, we'll, we'll never truly know until, one, we get there ourselves, or two, our species is advanced enough to go beyond the physical realm, which is... Again, as pseudoscience as um, can be, I guess. Like, I'm really big imperial. What's it? Imperialist? That's not, That's the wrong word. Imperialist. Nah, I know. You're thinking with the I, but I'm thinking with the E. Oh! Uh, oh! No, no, no. I know what you're talking about now. Completely like I, forgot philosophy class. Yeah. So, like, that kind of stuff. Like, I find myself approaching it when I ask these questions like these, but I also don't think, like, that kind of stuff actually exists. Because then I get confused. It's kind of, it's interesting. Even if you don't believe it, it's interesting to think about as, like, mm -hmm. a thought experiment, mm -hmm. right? Like, you shouldn't go, like, oh, there's no possibility of this existing. That's, that's kind of dumb. You should at least play around with topics and stuff like that. That's why I kind of ask, like, sometimes to my friends, what superpower would you get? 
Because it kind of, like, reveals some stuff about people. Like, oh, you would take this superpower instead of this one. Why is that? Why would someone pick a uh, flight instead of um, X, Y, and Z thing, right? Or the ability to give yourself superpowers. But also... What happened? The ability to give yourself superpowers. Oh, yeah, that's also true. The ability to give yourself superpowers is dope, but... Think about it like this though, like maybe they want flight because they want to, it might be psychological, like maybe that's in a way like a form of escapism or something. Oh, now you're like getting into dream therapy. Yeah, a little bit. I was, I was kind of a little the, bit into the, it. The, the, the cup in your dream represents your unfulfilled <laughs> desires. <laughs> so, and then we get into Freud and then it's like, oh the fuck your mom. <laughs> I never liked Freud. It's it's kind of interesting though to 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 look into Freud's theories. I don't think everything is revolved around sex though, but you yeah, know, not all of it. He did he like kickstarted psychology, but also had a, wrong, a lot of wrong ideas. But he also had a lot of. Oh. It, mm. Your feelings like are complicated. Sense. Yeah. It's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to sometimes quantify because he is like Hello, sort of the grandfather of modern psychology. But you look back and it's like um I don't know. Uh, Rafa, where's all your stuff? Oh, uh, it's at their their base. I know, but you like sold your structure or something. Oh, I sold the ore refinery. And you're like out of power. I am. I I do understand that I have made terrible mistakes. Oh. So you know you can power down buildings, right? I I tried to and none of them were powering down. Is power there on your radar dome? Anything that's dark that? gray. Whoa. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. We, we mined out everything here. Oh. Yeah. And look it's at okay, the AI. I got 10k bank. Look at the AI. Look at this. Oh. Is that a nuke? The, the AI also has a nuke. Did you kill that? Yeah, where is it? It's like right in front of you. Oh, there it goes. But yeah, I don't think we'll we'll ever fully know about the beyond until we we really try to um, we really advance as a species to even get to that level or some other stuff. Yeah, we get to like tech level nine or something. Oh, we're fucked. Who's it gonna hit? Wait, what? Yeah, he oh, fired a nuke. Occurred. Wait, he fired the nuke? Yeah, I saw it. Uh... If he hits that blob, I'm gonna laugh. Are you sure it wasn't like a GPS satellite? No, it was a nuke. Well, yeah. it didn't hit anything. It should have dropped by now. Nope, it didn't. I I did yeah. see it. You can see it on the video, or maybe like maybe I'm looking. The GPS at The GPS satellite video. looks very similar. All right, fair enough. But I think it's interesting right. to like think about like in that sort of sense. Mm. All right, but, time to crash the server. Yes, do it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I really wouldn't know what to say uh, in that conversation piece. Like, is someone the same when they teleport? Mm. I guess it depends on, in general, if we can ever get to that. And side, then right? also if you take someone, like, cell by cell and, like, change them. Like, you might argue that um, someone, if you take everyone from everyone's cells and replace them and rearrange them as in what we're talking about then they're a different person but then what do you say when you change the cells one by one and then there's the argument that your body does that on a daily basis for the most part i mean your brain most of your brain cells usually don't change but so some of them do change as well as most of your body cells uh there's a nuke you fired a nuke yes i did right, i'll fire mine as well goodbye infantry. <laughs> wait i'll move my vehicles into your nuke Select target. I'm not today. Oh, at least some of my units got the iron curtain. Unit lost. Unit lost. Oh wow, the mammoth tank survived it. Holy crap! Wow. Oh, you iron curtain. No, I only iron curtain two units, I think. Um, it might be the red on red. You got you know red. I mean? You got red on you. Mission accomplished. It's okay, in the words of Rory, nothing ever matters in life. 